Amsterdam. <laughs> what a city, man. We're out of home. Four Londoners who came to Amsterdam to share stories of inspiring people while sharing our own. This film, or vibe as we like to call it, is about six creatives that have inspired us along our journey. And throughout our time getting to know these individuals, we saw that there were some things in common. The community aspect, the hustle-like nature, and the creativity, man. And when you mix all of those things together, the sparks fly. And throughout the course of this vibe, we'll show you just how inspiring these people are. Brought to you by Out of Home, and this, this right here, is the golden generation. I love Amsterdam and living here. Yo, meet Gunnafort. He's a bookstore owner and publisher. He's one of the smartest people we know. Trust me, fam. You don't want to miss a word this guy says. First and foremost, it's for me so special that this town was built on water. Hundreds of years ago, the Netherlands and the Dutch people had to work together to build these dikes to keep the sea out. I think all of these um, elements come together and make Amsterdam a, a very fertile ground for collaboration. It's no coincidence that this vibe is called the Golden Generation. As Gunnafort just mentioned, a lot of the riches of the city came from the Golden Age. But for us, there was something different about the wealth of Amsterdam and where it could be found, and that's in the people. For me, coming to Amsterdam 14, 15 years ago has influenced me a lot. And that's mostly because of the people. Introducing Coco, award-winning photographer, straight out of Nigeria. You can clearly see the influence of back home in her work. From Elle magazine to Vogue, her photography has spanned across the globe. I was born and raised in Southeast. I know a lot of the people there, and I'm very analytical, so I like to watch the motions of Southeast. So I'm very active in the community as well. And I'm always on the outside looking in, seeing like, okay, so what, what, we, what we build, nice. Mr. Angelo, a man about peace, and who just happens to be the mayor of Southeast. He's about to drop some gems right now. What makes the creativity in Amsterdam unique is mainly the mix of Western culture and people that are cultural heritage. Uh, it's very easy to say, okay, let, let's create a blend of the Dutch culture, my own ethnic background. The magic happens within, within the third culture where all those different things come together and urban culture, street culture, however you want to call it, takes over. thing that kept coming up was this strong notion of unity and identity. And a place where you can find both of these things in abundance is the Baum, aka the Bims, a vibrant part of Amsterdam in the southeast where all the sauce is made. Most people that are from Baum uh, just refuse to look at life as just uh, plain white old grey canvas, you know. We just try to paint the picture so vividly possible. In clothing, in food, in buildings, it's just colourful. And that's just how we are. Borano, champion MC who brings all the vibes and can move a little bit too, you know. That's my guy. Always, everything I try to do, I try to incorporate it in my music. What's from here, I try to uh, put it in. I think in our subconscious, we know where we're from and we know that we come from paradise. So we try to bring paradise everywhere we go. You can take me out of here, but you can't take here out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing where you're from made me realize why I want to be a photographer and how I want to use photography. Identity is 
the main thing. My sisters, my family, my grandmothers. I started appreciating my hair when I saw one of my sisters wearing it. She cut all her straight parts out and then this big afro came out. I saw the video and I was like, I need to go home. I need to get my hair done. I need to get my afro. My photography is more of a reflection of my identity. We moved from England to Amsterdam, my dad, my little sister Salsa and I. I think through the years of just trying to fit in, the importance of community became bigger and bigger. And the older I got, the more I realised you can have chosen family members and chosen people that you respect and love. And so I just started building that because I don't have it here naturally. Miss Cuba, photographer, production guru, hustler extraordinaire. The most important thing is to bring your authentic self to the table. Because you are who you are. You can't fake realness. Meet the homie Ida. She's an artist manager, culture scout, and a creative producer. Always on the go and connecting the dots. She's just an all-round dope person, man. Like every musician, every artist, like it's it's a piece of art. Everybody work hard for their art and put a lot of energy and effort in it. The artists they feel like family for me. If we have a good connection, then the passion will follow, the energy, the love. It's a blessing that I can be a part of it and help it grow. Luckily, when I moved to Amsterdam, I yeah, was welcomed by this group of guys, friends, uh, with all similar backgrounds. We're all migrant kids. This friend group basically birthed brands like a Daily Paper or Filling Pieces, Olaf Hussein. Within helping my boys, I realized like, wow, there is opportunity here in the Netherlands. There's opportunity in the phase I'm in in life. So yeah, what does the bookstore mean to me? It's my place that I can meet people and that I can bring people together. It's important to give back to the community because we've been downgraded before many times. People are underestimating us and make it seem like not a lot of things is possible for us. And I want to be that change. People in the systems, like especially if it amounts like with network and money, it's wide. I have done a lot of things, so I've worked myself up to be in a position that I can help my people. Well, know that if you're a creative, you gotta, you know, meet up with the people from Prospect 11, not me per se, but we also keep, keep uh, connecting. We help a lot of entrepreneurs out. So this is Barano. Artist, MC from Afrolocious. Um, this guy is like really creating a sound that's, to me, that's like kind of new to new to Holland. Let me let you in on a little secret. When you find your passion and unlock your source, that's where the magic happens. And that, well, that's gold. Produced by Bobby Homie N64. Team, let's go. Oh, this is the key. Peace in my heart and my mind is my desire. Hems in the bank is the plan when I retire. Music is a big part of culture, no matter where you're from, you know? Being here in, in Southeast, uh, being among a lot of people from culture, apart from clothing and food, hearing different sounds, uh, getting inspired by different sounds is what shaped me as well, because I like every form of music when it has rhythm to it. And when you understand the rhythm, you kind of understand a person or a culture a bit better, because rhythm determines how you move. Rhythm is synonymous to just how you move in life. Life is a beat, man. That's how I interpret life. 
Yes, no, maybe. It feels like it's only a couple of years or maybe two years that I actually confronted myself like, oh, you're a creative. Before the focus was purely on academia, it was purely on basically maximizing your security in life because of my surroundings, but also because of this city called Amsterdam. I got exposed to so much different creatives and come to find out like, oh, there's also processes and reason and structures and frameworks behind creativity. My creative process always starts with the person I photograph. So I like to take my time. I like to talk to you. I like to know who you are. <laughs> when I take a picture of someone, you would see that person in the picture, but I think what you actually see is how I see you. Whenever I have the chance, I use my analog camera. Especially in these times where, where everything is so fast-paced, being in a dark room, it just slows everything down and you need to be really focused. It feels more personal and I think in this way you also learn more to respect the process of capturing someone and then you know, transform that into an actual physical image. I enjoy doing multiple things because, just really simply said, my ADHD. There's so much that I see all the time, the beautiful way I see the world. Let me just capture this and slow it down and then give it back to show them inside of my head. The way I think I would describe creativity, just that zhuzh that you feel from within, that magic and the tingling feeling. And it can be creativity on law level, to photography level, to write and read it. It can be anything, but it's just sometimes you fall into creativity after not believing that you're creative at all. Harness that zhuzh. It's just like a language. The more you read, the more words you know, the more words you know, uh, the broader your conversation will be. Go out there, beat yourself, be hungry for information. Always translate it from, from within. Like you see something, what does it do to you? You always have to start at the bottom. I always did a lot of charity work, so that's how I build up my network. And it's okay in the beginning to work for free, just because it's an investment for yourself. Don't be put down by other people or whatever. Follow your dreams and just do it. We as humans, we're creative beings in our essence. We like to play, we like to create, and throughout life we forget that. But the creativity is there, you're born with it. Creativity is something that we all have within us. All it needs is you to tap into. You're part of the golden generation too.